The Palace of Versailles, once the flamboyant home of Louis XIV, an admirer of the fine arts. The king also invested heavily in the palace gardens. One of his favorite spots was the Bosque du Teatro d'Or, a small woodland. It was a special honor for landscape architect Louis Benesch to work here. He regularly checks everything is in order. His idea was to get the water bubbling again, but not like it did during Louis XIV's reign. During the planning, I always had the king in my mind. He considered himself a divine ruler and was always at the center of my thoughts. The figures in the water remind us of the dances held at the royal court. They were created by artist Jean-Michel Autourniel, together with Louis Benesch. This is what it looked like in the 17th century. The modern-day look is more open and undisciplined. The woods in Versailles are in a belt shape. They are there to be explored, and as soon as you enter the inner part, you have the total overview. And I realized it's the same in my own garden. Benesch has also left his mark on the gardens of the Elysee Palace. Over 20 years ago, he planted new flower beds there and extended the lawn. I planted perennials to cover the steps to the terrace, a colorful mix. The then president's wife, Bernadette Chirac, wanted roses, but there are also lots of flowers that don't wither. These days, President Emmanuel Macron and his guests can still admire the flowers planted by Benesch. Louis Benesch meets the head gardener at the Elysee Palace. He also has to adhere to the wishes of the current residents. Sometimes politicians or their wives tell me what they like and what they don't like. We also have to make sure that the gardens are safe for children or for dogs. Lots of French presidents keep Labradors. Benesch doesn't just work in and around Paris. He has created magnificent gardens the world over, like here in Morocco. Or in Greece, he created this garden near Nablus. He had very different ideas for a project in New Zealand. I have also done very modern things, where there was nothing to work on. Like in New Zealand, it was basically a field. I designed a modern house, and 84% of the plants are local to the area. It's windy, the air is salty, so you need the right plants for the climate. So why not stick to local ones? Benesch made his career breakthrough in 1990. He was part of the team that redesigned the historic Tuileries Gardens. 3,000 new trees were planted to create a green oasis in the French capital. Another of his works, the Place Nicolas Forestier, on the outskirts of the capital. Benesch created this lush space in 1994. As soon as the sun shines, I really like coming here for a picnic or to go for a walk. As a Parisian, I need greenery, and this garden is fantastic. Louis Benesch, a man whose landscape gardens really grow on you.